Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have an unboxing. Um, this is two kits from Dreamer Designs. They have been stepping up their game, and they have been releasing more artwork that is outside of their box, and I am here for it, honey. Uh, before we get into this, a few boring housekeeping tips. If you hear a noise directly to my left, I do have my fan running. Um, I'm recording this while the tiny human is sleeping, and my husband is in the room, so you will certainly hear husband noises. If you didn't already hear them, say, hi, husband. Hello. So, there are two kits in here. I am going to do this in two parts. So, I'm going to open the box, and whatever one I grab out first, that's the one we're going to do the unboxing for. Um, I should have done this earlier today when I had actual natural sunlight. Because, as you guys probably know by now, I have the world's crappiest lighting. Um, so, this is my first real order from Dreamer Designs. And I know you're sitting there going, well, what do you mean by real order? So, when I first started this craft, let's grab this because I assume this is my order slip. It is. Um, get that off camera. Nobody needs to see my address. I grabbed, we're going to do this one first. I grabbed a kit that was just free shipping. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and it's definitely not of my style. I'm pretty sure it's Van Gogh. But it's a small one. That is the only one I've ever purchased from Dreamer Designs. I wanted to snag... One of the Reagan Kubrick, I want to say her name is. Um, but every time the ones I wanted, they were never in stock when I wanted them. So, um, we are here. So, this is new to me and uh, I'm very, very excited. So, as you can see here, for those who like to take their diamond paintings on the go, it does have a handle. I will say, I hope that there is something on this box that lets me know what this is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, it is branded here at the top. Um, doesn't really have a whole, whole lot of specific information about the canvas on the box here. There is... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it from this angle. There we go. So, this is Hazel from Curtis Reykjavik. I want to say, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, if you guys know me at all, this is a thousand percent my style. I absolutely love his artwork. I love all things Halloween. Uh, love all the girls with the big eyes. I'm just really big into pop surrealism and this is definitely that. So this is legally licensed, as I said, from Curtis Reykjavik. Oh, oh, that is in there. Tat. Steph, if you're watching, no inappropriate comments. So, let's see. Does it say it? Yes. So, this is going to be a 60 by 80. Um, it doesn't tell you if it is round or square. It does not really matter to me. I was going to get this image no matter what. <laughs> so, this is a nice bag. I mean, this is nice enough to travel with on your own. Um, I'm still trying to figure out my recording setup here. So, if I bounce out of frame real quick... That is what that is. Oh, all right. Dreamer Designs is fancy. All right, so we've got the canvas with a beautiful purple bow around it. Um, definitely wasn't expecting the backing to be so canvassy. <laughs> Oh, I'll be here all night, guys. The drills do have the name of the image. So, if you store your drills separately. Um, for a canvas that's 60 by 80, this doesn't look like a whole lot of drills, right? We'll see. We'll get into that. So, um, I know a lot of people have seen toolkits from all over the place, but this is my first time checking out a Dreamer Designs one. So this is a super, super soft bag. I definitely felt tweezers in there right away. A pair of the sharp tweezers, keep those sheathed. So it has one of these pens, which I hear is great for picking up your special drills and your AB drills. 
We've got another clear pen with a single placer. Pad of wax. I do like the wax in the container like that. Uh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Another pad of wax. A three placer, I believe. A couple boats. Which I do appreciate that they send more than one boat because a lot of us have more than one color out at a time. A bunch of baggies. There's a good amount of baggies in there. We're still going, you guys. A straightener. Which you can also use as a large multi-placer. I've seen people do that. There is a squishy in here for your pens on brand with the purple. Another squishy and what are you? Maybe a five? I can't tell. These are the thick placers. So I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know if this is supposed to be pink like around or if something bled. Either way, this is a super nice bag, and whether I use it, like, specifically for this kit or not, I feel like it'll get good use in my house for stuff and things. Ooh. I know, right? Stuff and things, you guys. Honestly, I was hoping your canvas would be more cheesy. What do you mean? You said it'd be more canvasy. Oh, I got you. I was hoping it'd be more cheesy. Gotcha. Okay. My husband's got jokes. If you guys don't know, my husband is the data monster. Uh, you can check him out on Instagram. He is Dada, D-A-D-D-A, -D -D -A, Monster, and he does custom Funko Pops. So, right at the top, I can see that it has the thumbnail. It tells you the name of the kit, that it is legally licensed, the size. And then all of their social media is over here. All right. Okay. I'm going to roll this the other way so I can make it lie flat. This was wrapped... I feel like I'm trying to do karate moves on this desk and it's like trying to flip it. It's not working. <laughs> I hope that you guys find this comical because we don't have room in our garage to practice karate. Um, oh my goodness, you guys, this was so tightly rolled. I am sorry, I'm totally out of frame here. Oh, there's stuff and things. Okay, this is not working out in my favor. You know, I had things I needed to record today, including this, and uh, I was not motivated. Now I'm understanding. That seems to make sense. Okay. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. You guys, um, I'm <sighs> okay. I literally just lost. <sighs> my breath was taken away. This is absolutely stunning um inside this also came with the join the dream community and instructions on how to diamond paint as well as a sticker sheet mine's cut off of the drills that's actually really frustrating it's not gonna impede me but uh you literally cut it off before you finish. And this looks like they printed them and someone cut them by hand because it's definitely not. Which I don't care if they cut it by hand. I'm just saying, like, let me get the whole 53 colors. So, like I said, this has 53 colors, including one, two, three, four ABs. Um, they have their own AB system. Anyway, let's talk about this for a second here. Let's talk. <sighs> you guys. She is absolutely stunning. Look at this face. Your daughter does. Okay, so you've got like the wicked candy apple, the big brimmed hat, the pink and green neon hair, the lashes for days. Look at the little kitty cat, her poisonous drink, her her pumpkin purse. Like, look how cool this is, you guys. Oh my God. So one thing that's really cool about Dreamer Designs is if you see here, there's like a border, whatever the color is, it extends it. So you can see over here, it's green so that it gives it a more finished look when you're done. Um, this is amazing. This is 1000% my kind of artwork. It's, it's spooky, but not, uh, disturbing 
Are you guys horror fans? Let me know down below. I am much more of a thriller person. I don't need the chase and the blood and all that stuff, but I like the stuff that makes you think. Anyway, so these symbols look super, super clear. Are there? Let me look at this list again and see if there are any. Well, I can tell you right now, there's a weird Y. Is there an X? There is an X. They're not going to be anywhere near each other, I don't think. So these look... <laughs> Oh, but there's an upside down Y. So this is one of those things. If you make your own labels, just pay attention to things like this number 11, this Y here, and number one, this Y here. Because if you're making your own and you label them both Y, you might not realize one's actually like an upside down Y. Nothing else seems to be jumping out at me that seems concerning. So that's always good, right? Okay, you guys. <sighs> Let's look at some girls. I'm going to turn this beauty over. Let's what? Let's go drill. Yeah. My daughter keeps seeing the reels with uh, Shania Twain's, uh, what is that, Man, I Feel Like a Woman? Yeah. And she just started going, let's go girls. So she was sitting with her stuffed animals the other day and reading to them and she said let's go girls and she sat them all down which I thought was hilarious so if you don't like the crinkle noise oh I do apologize it will go quickly la 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 these are in there and if you like it that's for you so all right let's see looks like dreamer designs does theirs sequentially all right, we're way yet. All right, these seem... I'm not going to go over all of them. Let's see, 310, we've got one, two, three. All right. So you can see you're going to have, like, your purples and your yellows. So it does have on here the number that corresponds to the guide and the DMC code which is nice to have the DMC code on the actual bag as well. Um, lots of blues and greens. There's going to be a lot of greens and pinks in this kit. There's a lot of shimmer on these. It's beautiful. When will I get to do this? That's the number one question. Is it not? Holy moly bag of AB drills. Okay. If you guys do not know what an AB drill is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And it is when they have this super extra shiny coating. Okay, let's, let's do it on this one so you can see it a little bit better. It is not, there we go. Translating well in camera today. Okay, one of you will show, there we go. But look at the amount of the green here. So it has this super shiny coating on it, which will reflect the colors of the drills around it. So it makes everything brighter. And then there's going to be more shades of pinks and greens and grays. Let me get back to some black. Get the quality. And if you ever wonder why YouTubers or content creators in general talk about checking the dark ones, it's because they tend to be most mass produced. And that's why you tend to have more issues with them. Although, you know, if you have any opinions on this, well, there goes this train of drills. Um, I find that a lot of, excuse me, dark green drills give me a problem. But look at that. The bags are branded, which is absolutely beautiful. There's no mistaking if you put this aside, you know, where it came from. So, let's, you guys, I am a mess. All right, let me look. Okay, a little T. So we're going to have some of those pink ABs framing in her face as like her highlight. Um, the eight is going to be in the hair if I had to take a stab. It's interesting that they chose to print in red on top of the green symbols. Actually. Uh, so, for all of my friends who are colorblind, 
that probably makes it nearly impossible for you to work unless you're not red green deficient um yeah my brother is red green he can't tell any difference he can see that they're different shades but he couldn't tell you if he's looking at red or green actually i'm not seeing because it's an s not an eight okay this is the hot mess express yes yeah, so there are strands of green here that will be a b what else do we have get out of here foam roller that's yeah. why it was fil filmed it was so tight getting out of here because it was wrapped around the foam roller uh the c and the o let's see there's some c in the caramel you guys say caramel or caramel um in the apple here and then what do we got for O? O is in her eyes. I'm sure it's in more places as well, but that's where I see it. So, uh, my initial thoughts is this is beautiful. The drill field looks nice and clear. Let's check the sticky because we all want to know. Yeah, there we go. Oh, just took my finger. You guys didn't even see it because I was off frame. Um, so here, for those who want to see it. Not as sticky as a Diamond Art Club, but still sticky, sticky, sticky. Um, oh my goodness, I can't. You guys, I feel like I'm running around with a chicken with my head cut off right now. Um, I do know there are quite a few people who have already unboxed this, who've already unboxed both of the ones that I'm doing. But I figured, if you've seen one post review on this, you've seen that person's thoughts and opinions. And that's all I'm trying to do is just share my thoughts and opinions and my excitement for this. This image is gorgeous. This would be perfect for drills and chills. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I already have one in my stash that I could use for that. But, um, and she's a nice size. 60 by 80 is a pretty decent size. Uh, I don't know. I th they have, if I'm not mistaken, there are six Curtis images being released. They announced the second one. Um, as of the day of this filming, they announced the second one today, which is the Luna um, from Harry Potter. I don't know if they're going to be doing one each week, and I don't know if they're all going to be the same size. I do know that one is also a 60 by 80, but that's all I got for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it two thumbs up. I went off the railings a few times, but you know, we're all here for the Hot Mess Express. While you are here, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you are there, please hit that notification bell. Hey. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record while my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. So, thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>